welcome back everybody to the Collector's Outpost. I am John and recently we got the uh, the new trailer for Obi-Wan Kenobi. At the end of that trailer we got a sneak peek at Darth Vader. So since we don't have a Darth Vader from that show yet, and I'm sure we will, so I broke out the Hot Toys Darth Vader Empire Strikes Back version and we're going to take a quick look and have some fun. First thing you see when you open up this box is that classic image we all know from the movie of Darth Vader holding out his hand to Luke. For whatever reason, over the years, this scene has stuck in my head since I was a kid, and every time I think of either him or Luke, for whatever reason, this is the scene that my brain goes to. So here's everything laid out that he comes with, not a ton of accessories, which is fine. Um, him and this stand is more than enough. Uh, this stand is amazing. I love diorama stands, and this stand also has a couple of lights that turn on. And believe it or not, those two blinking lights kind of bring it to life. Now Hot Toys gave us a really nice selection of hands to be able to pose him with. Now what we also got is the arm with batteries in it to light up the lightsaber, which at this point, I'm not even sure why they even bother giving anymore because it's such crap you can't see the light anyway. You have to turn off the lights in the room completely just to see a dim little light. To get into install the batteries, you have to move this little cuff area of the glove over. And you'll see the little battery door there, and they gave us a bunch of little batteries, which will last maybe 15, 20 minutes, who knows. So I stuffed a few batteries in there, and I'll show you what it looks like. It's pretty dim, and once you put it in the display, I mean, look at that, even from the side, you can't even really even tell that it's on. Um, unless it's pointing right at you, and the tip is lit up, you pretty much can't even see the lightsaber. You can get really great lightsabers online, I'm actually trying to get one, but look at that. I mean, what's the point? It's, it pretty much looks off. Now let's flip the lights off in here, just so you can see it a little bit better. Um, really, the only way to see these lightsabers is in a dark room. Uh, you'll never notice this in a uh, lit display at all. Um, so this is pretty much your only option. But again, you can get some great custom lightsabers done online. So how these lightsabers work, it's really just a little light bulb at the bottom of the hilt that lights up this piece of plastic or acrylic or whatever they use. I love the motion effect ones. <laughs> that looks really cool. It actually looks pretty good like that. But again, once you put it in a display that's lit well, you're not going to see it. See, it loses it completely. All I do is flip the lights on, so... Now this hilt is obviously built into the arm because the batteries and everything have to go in there, and they give you a separate one. It's great because you can install the other blades into this by itself too. It just won't have any lights, but... God, I love these little lightsabers. Now this is one of my favorite bases. Um, I, I don't know, I love diorama bases. It's done super well. They've got some of the, the burn marks around the piping there. We've got the two lights that flip on. Let's see if I can flip that on real quick. They blink independently, so it's so realistic. It just brings that thing to life. Well, here he is in all his glory, Lord Vader himself. This figure is so well made. It's, it's one of my favorite ones in the whole collection. Darth Vader is just one of those characters that have stood the test of time. He's virtually faceless. Yes, we know that he's Anakin under there, but given that you see the helmet, it's kind of like those characters like, like Jason Voorhees or Michael Myers. There's no expression, there's no age on his face. Everything has to be told through his body movement and the epic voice of James Earl Jones. This character is absolutely timeless. Let's dive in and take a closer look at everything. I mean, the materials that they gave us are beautiful. They fall perfectly. They look heavy. Um, I do wish that they lit up some of these little buttons and knobs and stuff like that. That would have been great, but then it would have had a deal with batteries. This is all a fairly simple design. We've all seen uh, Darth Vader a million times over the years, but they just did it so well. Great materials, great fabric here. Um, we've got the pleather on the arms, the uh, pleather belt that goes all the way around. Very, very nice touch. I just hope that this fabric just kind of holds up over time. Anyone who's been collecting for more than five minutes knows that time is not a friend to pleather. Now, whatever material that they used for this cape is stunning. I don't know if it's a silk or whatever this is, but it's got that, uh, that edge liner here that's a little bit more glossy. The rest is a little bit more of a satin uh, look to it. But look at that. It falls heavy. It looks heavy. It kind of is heavy. Honestly, I don't think I could have asked for a better material to use for this figure. It's super soft and it's super heavy, so it's totally awesome. I do kind of wish they used more of this type of material for some Batman capes or something, because this material looks amazing. Look at the way that drapes. This is incredible. So this is the part I have a love and hate relationship with. It is so awesome that you can take the helmet off and see all of this detail. 
the paint work is great. The detail is unbelievable. It, it, it's just fantastic. The hate part that I have, which I don't know why they just didn't do it, is or just give us another head sculpt to pop on there, is why don't we have the actual face? It would have been awesome to have had the head sculpt itself under there. Maybe some of you will display it like this. I don't know. Uh, but I would never display it like this, so the only time I'll ever see this is when I'm making this video. I almost never remove that helmet for any reason. But, you know, maybe if there was a head sculpt, it would have been a great display piece to do something with, or great photos. I mean, this will also make great photos, too, but I'll never display it like this. Moving on down to the boots, we've got some movement down there on the ankle. Unfortunately, these are a full set of pleather boots. They didn't go with the split boot cut that I really like. Uh, with these sculpted boots, uh, but that's okay. I don't really see people putting Darth Vader into crazy poses anyway, so... But if you are going to put him in a crazy pose, you do get some decent articulation out of these, but again, just be careful of the material. The shin guard is velcroed on, so you get to move that up and down to kind of get it out of the way as you're posing so you don't pinch the pleather. Well, that's it. That is the Hot Toys Empire Strikes Back Darth Vader. I love this figure, but I'm looking forward to getting some new figures from the new Obi-Wan Kenobi show on Disney Plus, because let me tell you, there's going to be some amazing figures coming out from that show. Let me know what you think of this figure down below in the comments. I'm really trying to get a custom lightsaber uh, for this figure because it would bring this figure to life. It would be unbelievable. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Help this channel out by smashing that like button, hitting subscribe and a notification bell. And as always, be safe out there in the world, and I'll see you on the next video. Take it easy.